So this video I've been wanting to make for a while, it's gonna be a little mixed bag video, right? There's gonna be a little sprinkle of some product review in there, but a lot of talking points. I really wanna have a chat with you guys here, right? Obviously we're gonna be building a keyboard, but the point of this video, so I'm gonna build a keyboard your way, the way you tell me to build it, right? If any of you have watched any of my custom keyboard videos, I get ragged in them quite a bit by the way I build them, right? The steps I take, the way I go about it, people are like, no, you shouldn't do it that way. This is the way you should do it. You're ruining the board, so on and so forth, you know? And that's kind of harsh for someone like, I'm not in the keyboard community. I don't want to be in the keyboard community. You all know I'm quite vocal about community in general, but on top of even the keyboard community, but something like that, someone like me that is just having fun with the hobby, stuff like that, like, just think about that, like, I know I got a platform and I'm showing it and people are going to comment, but think about that person that just wants to dab with it, have fun, make a keyboard, and they're getting that kind of criticism there. It's kind of like, I feel bad for them. I got some pretty thick skin, right? So it doesn't really bother me too much, but it's just like, how? Like I sit there and read it and look at them like, how and why? You know, like in my eyes, honestly, a custom keyboard should be yours. How do you do it? What are you doing about it? That's what makes it custom. If I'm going X route, do it this way, well, then I'm having this keyboard. Not necessarily mine. I think the great thing about custom keyboards and the funnest thing about it is making it yours. You got that memory with it. It's, it's that connection. You did this and you built it and you tweaked it like this. Kind of like building a house, working on your car, customizing your cars, so whatever, you know what I mean? Heck, getting dressed. You get dressed the way you like. Unless you look at a magazine and try to dress that way, then different topic, you know what I mean? But that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna build a keyboard the way you guys tell me to build a keyboard. And at the end of the day, we'll see if it's any different. So what we're gonna be using here is the glorious GMMK Pro, right? I love this keyboard. And that speaking about people judging, I've heard people rag on a GMMK Pro and I don't, I don't understand it because this is a stinking solid board. I love this keyboard, you know? I really do. It's got that perfect layout right here. Media control. It's a solid build. Really solid. And kind of, you guys are like, dude, how many talking points are you going to have in here, right? But just right out the gate talking about the GMMK Pro and what I love about it is the availability and the simplicity. Right? When you order it, it's easy to understand. When you build it, it's easy to understand. And it's readily available. You don't got goofy group buys. It, it's expensive, but it's not like up there and some other custom keyboard expensive. Right? Your, your money's justified within this. It's that solid. So again, it's not like, man, am I getting this, you know, spending 500 bucks over here or something, you know what I mean? You're not really going that route. Yeah, it's still pricey, it is. But again, the availability, the simplicity, and everything about it and what you're getting as a package, I think it's stinking awesome. Now, for the other parts we're using, I also ordered some Duroc stabs. I remember my recent custom keyboard build. Um, I believe I said I had goat stabs, the glorious ones, and I also had Duroc. I chose Duroc. Everyone said, good. You shouldn't use the, the goat ones. Go with Duroc. So I bought them again, but let me know in the comments what is wrong with the goat stabs. I like them. I thought they were good, but again, I'm building this the way you guys told me to. So I got Durox again and we'll swap them out. Now, as far as switches, we're gonna go with the glorious link switches here, a nice linear switch. I got the unlubed ones, cause again, you guys say lubing your own switches is the way to go. And we have some G lube right here. We also have some lube for our stabilizers, the dielectric 22058, whatever, and then a G lube over here. And again, I'm gonna lube all these switches. Y'all know I can't stand lubing switches. Glorious does offer an option for these switches lubed. I believe it's like 10 bucks extra for a package. I don't know. You all recommend lubing, so I'm gonna lube. Now, let me just chime in here before I go through some other stuff here. You're all probably thinking, yo, this is a great big glorious promo, right? And I guess you can look at it that way, right? Because like I stated before, the thing I love about this is the simplicity. Everything's right there that you need, okay? It's consumer friendly. This is where custom keyboards needs to be. I know some other companies are in the works to get something similar like this going on. 
You know, I know other ones have been trying to do it, but this is where it needs to be, is simplicity and availability. Now for our lube, we have a couple brush options here. We got the brushes from Glorious, but I also picked up this cool set from Amazon. It's just, I believe it was like 10 bucks and it's really awesome. First off, you got a really cool case and you get a plethora of different sized brushes right here. Really cool, you got like this groove on there to grip onto it, really nice. But again, all sorts of different sizes. And again, I believe they were only like 10 bucks for that whole pack right there. And last up, our keycaps. I am actually gonna use the Akko Cherry Profile, these red and gray ones. Um, I know some people rag on these Akko ones. I love them, they're just a great deal. I can't bring myself to spend like 100 or $200 on keycaps, it's just, Ah, that one bites at me, you know what I mean? Um, but anyways, I love these keycaps. I've used them before, not this color, but take a look at those colors right there, guys. Like, wow, I mean, they look so stinking sharp. I love the case they come in and everything. They just look so good. I'm definitely gonna add the red accents onto it. So as you can see, we're gonna have like a black, white, and red theme which is gonna go perfect for the Techni, of course. And to wrap up the entire deal here, at the end, once we start building, we're gonna test it to the glorious GMMK. Do y'all remember the one me and uh, Techni Jr. built? Right, let me get this guy open. This one right here, me and my son built this one. Go check out the video if you haven't yet. It was really fun. We just built the keyboard and chatted. And we built this how I would build the keyboard, right? I'd get my keycaps, I'd get my switches, I'd slap it on there and I'd go start gaming. Right, you got it built in less than 30 minutes, you know, so, and then we'll compare, we'll say, is this way really beneficial from the work, the sound, um, the time invested into it compared to something like this? And we'll just kind of conclude it at the end here. But anyways, I guess let's get to work. All right, so now that we have the entire board taken apart, I'm sure I forgot how some things go. I probably forget how these LED diffusers go on there. But anyways, before we get to our stabs, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Band-Aid mod. And again, the cool thing about the Glorious board right here with the PCB is it shows you right where your stabs are gonna be hitting down as you see the squares around the switches right there. So again, it's just super easy. Number one, you know where the stabs go, but also the exact spot to put your Band-Aid. All right, so as you can see, we now have our Band-Aids on right there. And again, that's just gonna prevent these stabs when they bottom out to go against the hard, kind of give you that clanky sound right there, right? So that is gonna prevent that. But now going to our stabs, and this is a spot where I tend to get ragged quite a bit, because I like, personally, I like put my stabs together and then lubing them that way when I know everyone else does and the way everyone shows is dipping it into the lube or into the thing and then building it and put it together. It's just messy and a little more time consuming. But again, I'm building it your way. So this is how we're gonna do it. All right, so now that our housings are lubed and everything, we're gonna go ahead and build them and put them onto our stems or our bars right here. And this is the part that people uh, tend to judge me quite a bit by, right? Cause I like putting them together, getting my brush and then dabbing it on the rod and you know, Again, we're building it your guys' way, so we're gonna see how this goes. I, I just think it's gonna be a little bit messy here because we gotta get that deal in there, right? Get it so we make sure we get it into the right hole. We're gonna take our rod, dip it into our dielectric grease. I don't want too much because, again, I still want this to be a gaming keyboard. So I think we got a decent amount, right? Then we're gonna get it in here. Hopefully, we get it in the right spot without getting too messy. All right, we got it good. We are all in there clipped in and that does work out better again it kind of gets the entire deal housing and everything in there but now we got to go on and do the rest of them all right so we have all of our stabs lubed and then installed again very nice very solid honestly the process that you guys said i should have done um it's pretty easy it really is a little messy i got some grease on my hands but whoop de do right big deal so I gotta, I gotta give you guys that point right there. I think I will start using that because again, you just dip the wire, it goes in there, it kind of covers everything. But anyways, now what we have to do is hopefully I remember how to put this board back together. All right, so we have the board all put together now. New stabs on there, our Durac stabs on there, nice and lubed. I also added, you know, Glorious includes some of these extra gasket deals. I added some more of those on there to prevent any uh, potential pinging or tinging or anything like that. I've had heard people state that um, you need thicker foam to prevent some of that with this board. 
I don't know, again, we're gonna put it together like this, but I also added those just to make it, again, potentially better if need be. Now, for the worst part about building a keyboard, in my opinion, is looping these switches. I can't stand it. Is it beneficial? Yes, I think we all know that. Now, it really depends. Um, again, I'm gonna be using a G-loop on these, but I'm gonna go very, very lightly on these guys right here, because again, I still want the board to be more geared towards gaming, not typing, right? And when you slap on a lot of lube, your switches tend to feel kind of soft, kind of laggy, they feel great when typing, but when gaming, you want that really fast switch, you know what I mean? So that's also why I started with a little amount on my stabs right there. I'll do the same with the switches, just lightly, um, and then hopefully it still has that nice, crispy, fast type of feel whenever I'm gaming. Okay, so I am back now, finally, with all of our switches lubed. Y'all know when you watch those videos, in, in the I know I don't watch SpongeBob, I've never watched, and my son doesn't watch SpongeBob, right? But they got that thing that comes up and says like, one hour later or two hours later or something like that. That's seriously what it's like lubing switches. Like lubing switches, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, you know? And honestly, again, talking about the process and some of the talking points on this video, the glorious how, how it is where you can get these lube 10 extra bucks, I say all day long it's worth it. Like hands down, just the time, Unless you're single, you're at home, and you have time to spare. Me, personally, I'd rather be gaming, spending time with my family, being outside, just doing something other than sitting there. Oh, it's, 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 it's not something I enjoy. But I went really light on the lube on these. So that's the good thing about it as well. Talking about it being custom, we think about custom keyboards. It's not necessarily the look, which you can go to that extent here, right? Spray paint to whatever color you want. I mean, it, it, the options are limitless, you know what I mean? But... Again, extending into custom, even as far as lube, like me talking about, I want this board to be a gaming board still, not really a work board or or a um, productivity board or anything like that, right? Mainly for gaming. So I want my switches still to be fairly light and smooth. If you, if you slap a lot of lube on your switches or even your stabs, they'll just feel a little bit draggy, you know what I mean? And me, when I play... My first person shooters, at least, they're very fast paced and very quick, you know? Lately, I've been playing a lot of New World. I'm drifting off big time. Let me tell you what, guys. I have been putting a ridiculous amount of time into that game. But anyways, guys. Um, so again, is, is Lubin beneficial? Yes, but me personally, I'd say all day long, uh, get pre-lubed ones, it's just easier. And again, talking about it, I know people rag on pre-lubed switches, uh, it, you know? And I hope you're catching my drift right here, which we'll touch on once we get done. But uh, just don't rag on someone because they're doing it the way they want. If they want to get prelude switches or this, that, or the other, let them have fun with their keyboard. And just embrace that. Let everyone be unique with their build. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's put the rest of this together. I'll be back with you.
So right there with the sound test, I don't know about you guys, but what I could hear myself over here on the one with the blue caps, I hear a little pinging. And I do not think that's from the board. It could be, I could be wrong right here since I put those extra gaskets over here and not on this one. So I could be mistaken, but what I think it is, is just a straight up kale uh, switches without any lube, no lube on the springs or anything. Over here, we have lubes on the switches and then on the springs. As far as feel, I mean, they both feel great, but yes, I can tell a difference with the lubed one. It's just, it's just smooth. It is butter stinking smooth. Is this bad? No, it's not. And that's kind of what I want to get my point across here, right? Now that we have our board built and everything that took time, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of research over here, or when it's just slapped together, they're both stinking amazing. They are, they're fantastic. This is awesome over here. So is this, you know what I mean? And, and that's kind of where it sums down to. I wanted to let you guys know that anybody can do this, right? It doesn't have to be done a certain way, right? Are there things to make it a little bit better here and there? Sure, but you don't have to do that. It's up to you. It's your board. How far do you want to take that custom? You know what I mean? Uh, the other thing, as I've been stating through the whole video, is the simplicity of it. It looks like a pretty intimidating hobby, right? But companies like Glorious, um, I know other companies, again, I know Novel Keys did some of their starter kits and then some other companies, Odin's starting on one, right? I like that. I like the availability and the simplicity where so many, I, I preach all day long, right? I review consumer reviews, you know what I mean? Not just tech spec filled reviews and crazy stuff like this. I want to talk about stuff we can relate with, you know what I mean? And I think this board we can really relate with. The other thing I want you to take from this video, which is probably more important, the more important topic is going back to uh, like my video about building keyboards before and you read some of those comments. Like I stated, I got thick skin, right? I, I, I can take it, you know, but some other people can't. And just think about that. If you're up here in that, you know, snooty upper tier custom keyboard community, you know, Redditors, <laughs> we all know how you are over there on Reddit. Think about that. Like, I understand it and I accept it. I put myself on Front Street being over here on YouTube, but this other kid or this other person just trying to get into it and just have fun, build a custom keyboard or, you know, buying a mechanical keyboard in general, Corsair, or Razor, or Steel Series, whatever. Don't rag them for it, man. Don't beat them down. High five them because they're getting into it, you know, and experience it. Maybe they had a membrane board before. Maybe they had that little keyboard that came with their PC, right? And they're getting the Apex Pro or something like that. You know, I mean, just take it easy. Think about what you're saying before you're typing it back there on your screen. You know what I mean? Being the big guy. And the biggest comment that comes from me from my video even is, is, is someone on there commented, yo, this company sent this keyboard to the wrong person. You don't care about it or whatever. You're just trying to have fun. That, like just thinking of that guys, like, I mean, you can take it yourself, right? I don't need to say anything. A comment like that from someone in the keyboard community, someone to someone like me that's just trying to have fun and enjoy it, you can understand why I'm a little sour towards it, you know what I mean? Because if you can't have fun with whatever you're doing, why are you doing it? Making YouTube videos, whatever, whatever it may be, right? You got to enjoy it or you're just going to be miserable which must have been how that person was with that comment, you know? And that's sad. That's really sad. I think that shies a lot of people away from it because, again, it's fun. But when people are like that, and there's a, there's a lot more than not, you know what I mean? That's crazy. That's just really crazy, you know what I mean? Have fun with it. Be passionate about it. And spread the joy about it, you know what I mean? Don't be a Debbie Downer.